Hi boys and girls, I'm going to show you how to find and read books on Epic. Okay, so to get started, you're going to start on our class website. Up here at the very top, you're going to click on resources. Resources is the last one and it starts with an R. You click on resources. and it brings you to this page. You're going to move down just a little bit and you're going to click on Epic. Epic is the blue square with the white letters inside. It starts with an E, Epic. Whenever you click on it, you're going to click enter your class code. Our class code is NJN four five two seven our class code is n j n four five two seven so i'm going to type that in and after you type in the class code you just press go All of your names are going to be here. They just aren't here right now because of what time it is whenever I'm making this video. But all of your names are going to be here. You click on your name. And now you're in Epic. At the very top, if you click on Mailbox, it will show you books that I sent to you. I have not sent anyone books yet. But I'm going to start sending you books soon. So if you click on mailbox, that's how you get to it. And I'll remind you of that whenever I actually start sending you books. To read books, you just scroll down and you find something that looks interesting to you and you click on it. If it has this green line um, on the bottom of the book, it says, read to me. Read to me books will read aloud the book to you so if you're um, a struggling reader and you struggle with those sight words read to me is a great way to still access books and get to see the words without having to struggle through each part okay so i'm going to click on one this book is about simone biles so if you click down here the play button it's in a green circle and then it will read that book aloud to you. Whenever you're done reading a book, you can press the X up here. There are also books that don't read to you. Whenever you're reading a book that doesn't read to you, you won't see a play button down here. To go to the next page in a book, you click on the side that you want to turn. Whenever you click on the side, it turns the page. Again, you press the X to get out of the book. Whenever you're reading a book, you can also click on words that you're struggling with, even if it's not a read to me book. If you click on a word that you're struggling with, it will say the word so you can hear what it is, and it will tell you the definition of that word. Here's an example. So did you hear? Whenever I clicked on problems, it said the word out loud and then it has the definition here. So it tells me what that word means. As you click through a book, once you finish, it will have suggested books at the end right here. You can click on any of the pictures of book covers to go to that new book.
You can also search books that you might be interested in. For example, I know that I really love turtles. Turtles are one of my favorite animals. So up here at the top, I'm going to type in turtles. When I typed in turtles, several different resources popped up. Books, videos, and audiobooks. You can click up here to only see certain things. So if I only want to see books about turtles, I'll click on books. If I only want to see books that read to me, I can click on read to me. And then it only shows me books about turtles that will read to me. Okay, boys and girls, now I want you to explore Epic. You're going to log on to Epic using our class code. Then you're going to choose a book to read. I can see which books you've clicked on and I can see how much time you've spent on a book. So make sure that you choose something and you actually read through that whole book. Whenever you're finished, I want you to go to the Flipgrid um, that's linked right next to the video. And I want you to make a Flipgrid video telling us about your book. I want you to give us a summary of what you've read. I'm really excited to hear about the books that you guys find on Epic. Bye!